On this crisis in NMPP, let's speak with Ladiko Johnson, who is the National Auditor of the party. We also have the Factional Publicity Secretary of the party, Abdul Salam Abdul Razak. Um, he joins us via Zoom. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much. Uh, let me begin with you, uh, Mr. Abdul Salam, because th there are reports where the BOT is saying, look, they are not responsible for this particular um, suspension of um, Rabiu Kwankoso. Who are those who were at that press conference today? Uh, because Boniface and Ebonam and Agbo Major have been, um, people are saying, look, they are responsible for this. Who are those responsible for this particular suspension and on what grounds? Thank you very much. Uh, the suspension today was uh, in fairness to democratic setting of Nigeria. And it's uh, what was done with uh, autonomous uh, uh, caution and we looked at the constitution very well before we take our step. Today, the decision was not made by Abu Major and uh, the BOT chairman. Maybe I'll quickly read it to your notice. That she donated a level of yesterday at the ordinary section of the BOT meeting, resigned his appointment as a BOT member. And at that place, another, as the BOT chairman, and another chairman emerged yesterday of the person of Dr. Aliko from the HTC State. You understand? And with this, you find out that how can you sit that down and what closely the event that has been upholding in the political situation, especially in NNPP. The whole day today was the general meeting, the general congress of NNPP. That was what was said today. And the application was done there. It was not a decision taken by Agro Major alone. It was a collective decision of NNPP in Nigeria as a whole. Hmm. Hello? All right, I, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. So I say, what I'm saying now is that this decision I was taking was not by Agro Major, hmm. neither it was taken by a chief bonus management. But it is a collective response, collective decision hmm. of the DOT All right. member. The, 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 let's and hear from Mr. Ladikbo. Um, you, you have said okay. that, look, it's not a decision of, of Boniface and um, Agbo Major. That is a decision made by members of the party. But l let me ask you, Mr. Ladikbo Johnson, how is Rabi Kwankoso responding to this um, when you also look at the allegations of anti-party activities? Thank you and good evening. Um, <laughs> simply put, I think some people are high on cheap drugs. That's the best way to put it. Um, look, Precious, the, that was not the BOT. Mm. And the gentleman that just spoke just said something very critical. He said there was a general assembly. Mm. Please let um, them point be, before out. We continue, before we continue, Mr. Ladipo, I just want to... Mr. Ladipo, just a minute. Sorry. Hello. Mr. Ladipo, just Can a minute. Before we continue, I just want to say to you and Mr. Abdul Salam that we would expect from both of you um, very civil language as we continue in the conversation. Yes, 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 um, but yes, please yes, go yes, ahead. There's no problem. Please um, let anyone point out to you where in the constitution of this party there is a, um, a body called the General Assembly. What they had was a farce. They had people from Nagav, which is a group, you know, into shipping agency and whatever, uh, where Dr. Boniface... Um, I, I, I Bunam holds sway. They had people from there. They had some people, maybe some suspended members of the um, um, of the party, the NMPP, and then they just got there and held whatever they wanted to do. It is only in our country, Nigeria, that I think the press would sit down and then say that a faction of some people who are disgruntled renegade members of a party who have come together. They can come together, it's democracy. Now, follow this. A few weeks ago, as you said it, and um, the gentleman said it, there was a suspension, or there were suspensions. Now, some people, including Agbo Major, said uh, these people did not, so he wasn't at the meeting of the National Working Committee. Now, if, they didn't, you don't like your suspension. If it was against the constitution, what did you do? Did you appeal it? 
Did you follow that constitution? No, you didn't. So I'm surprised that at their press at their gathering this morning, none of the pressmen could ask them, oh, we know that you were suspended and you said it was wrong. That means you were under the authority. Why, where is your court, uh, court ruling or judgment of court that says it was wrong? Where is the um, appeal process within the party, the internal uh, mechanism within the party? Where is it? Nothing like that. And then mm. they turn around but, but and we now start running Mr. Ladiqua up and Johnson, down. Just a minute. The accusation here uh, or the allegation here is that of anti-party activity. I have seen... Hang on, um, I will just a minute, the allegation. Just a minute. We've Precious, seen Ravi so the allegation. I will treat the allegation now. Just a I'm minute. Just um, Mr. Mr. Johnson, just a minute. Just let me land. We, we've seen um, Rabbi Kwankwaso meet with the president on several occasions, and there were Fantastic. conversations That's around the um, him being, you know, he was going to be brought in as a minister. Those were the conversations and speculations. Did he carry the party structure along in that particular conversation? Yes. Yeah. So, so why then is he being accused of anti-party activities if he carried the party, the party structure along? Because this, this is just a major allegation against him. All right, let me go to, um, let me go to Mr. Abdul Salam. Um, you heard Mr. Mr. Kwankos, I'm sorry, Mr. Ladikwa Johnson saying, look, the party structure was carried along in that particular engagement with the president. So why is he being accused of anti-party activities? As far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, ma, the former appointment as uh, the acting secretary, uh, the, the former appointment as the national public secretary of this uh, of this great party, I was the chairman of party, and I have no information or atom of information that anybody, any chairman or anybody, I doubled as a chairman for all the chairmen in this country, and I think if things like that are happening, I should be. In the knowing. Every chairman, everybody that concerned should be in the knowing. You see, the end of this is just trying to be to be to be the judge in their own case. And I have said it clearly earlier in your report. I said that anybody that wants to come to UPC must come with clean hands. You understand? So you see, Mr. Salah before I understand the background he's coming from. So I just want to the fantastic thing is to say when people are confused and they are doing something that is legal and they felt they cannot be kept. What we have done is according to the constitution of the party, and if they are not so satisfied about it, then they should go anywhere, probably go to the court of law and seek to vest that. But what we are concerned is that Nigerian People's Party, the Nigerian People's Party today, under the leadership, under the, BOC, the, the leadership of Abu Major, have pronounced that we will no longer tolerate any injustice within the party rank and file again. And so uh, the suspension is signed, and that is what we have taken. It's only the suspension. All the resolutions that were taken there, not only suspension, we also mm. mentioned that it is not constitutional. For, uh, All right. Uh, Mr. Abisala, let me put you on hold. Um, be, 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 now we have Radikbo Johnson uh, back with us. I just want him to respond to that anti-party activity. Um, he was going to do that before we lost connection. Please go ahead. Sorry, Precious. I'm sorry about that. The network. Um, basically put, there is nothing wrong in a party in government saying that it wants to come to have a government of national unity. When you are invited, you go, you listen, you try to negotiate if it's possible, good, if it's not possible, good. But as to the crux of it, at each stage, the national leadership of this party knew what was happening at this stage. Do you understand? I listened to a program earlier where Agbo Major was saying um, he met with presidential candidates or whatever before the election. Those are all, that's all nonsense, basically. So it is not in their, in, the, in their courts to come and say that they're listening to, I mean, it's basically, as you said earlier, Precious, you said, oh, he was going to be given ministerial. How on earth do you know? It was all rumors. You don't know what was being spoken about. You don't know how things fell apart. I don't understand us in this country. Mm. There is a national leadership. I won't go 
and dip my my um, uh, my nose in what is happening in Lagos. I'm from Lagos, but I'm not a state ESCO. So they do not know what the National Working Committee knew or members of the National Caucus. Oh. And the good thing is that this has happened and it has changed. When you were introducing it, the, um, the person reporting, unfortunately, still I cannot see you because of the network. I can just hear your voices. Um, the person reporting from Akwaka was saying that um, we wonder where the crisis, the crisis has ended. It's ended, the crisis has ended because those who are trying to split this party for their, for their own reasons are out. Mm. Well, um... the bottom line is that the press seems to talk about, oh, faction. There's no Rabiu Musa Kwankwazo faction. It is the NMPP. It, it, it's easy and to we say that, the um, Mr. Mr. Ladipo and Johnson. Johnson. But, but we do have to leave it there. And I did say earlier that, that there were speculations that it was going to be made minister. I was very intentional about saying it was speculations. But, you know, I just, you have said that Luke is, all, is not factional. They are chairman who has gone to uh, pay solidarity visit to the national leader. They are also chairman, national, state chairman who have held a meeting saying, you know, also al alleging anti-party activities by um, Rabiu Kwankwasi. So it's still a very divided house at this moment. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, Ladikbo Johnson, national auditor of the NNPP and a factional publicity secretary of the party, Abdul Salam Abdul Razak.